Those niggas that was plotting against me. <laughs> no game bangers, the mm -hmm. ones that talk all that head and stuff, and <laughs> this loyalty code and all of that stuff was playing on robbing, Kim Nevin him and robbing him. Mm. My dad got wow. word of it, got word of it, and um, we, he, he knew me and Shook had a relationship because we played football together. Mm -hmm. And what I explained to you, but you know how you, when you have kids, you, you go separate ways, right? Now I'm over here in law enforcement. He over there doing was the it, same. Was it was it was it the pirates that was trying to kidnap? This homeboy, niggas that was working for him. Yeah, that's that. That's, <coughs> he had the gang. Bob James and them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. You said it was because of Sugar why you got into the music industry, right? Correct. So, but so you were not interested in music even back then? I mean, I liked it. My first, my God, dog. My favorite album or the first album I ever listened to, guess where he came from? What? The South. Jay Prince put it out. Wait a minute. The Ghetto Boys. The Ghetto oh, Boys. Boy. Shout out, man. Oh, my point is, that's what, 92, that's 93? 92, 93. That's the first time. Prior to that, you talking to a nigga that's walking around with just uh, geeked out. Can you Michael say you Jackson were a geek? Or, yeah, because you would say you were a nerd growing up. Michael Jackson, yeah, you know, yeah. the most rated, X-rated song that I probably ever listened to all of the 80s was Head. Mm. You remember Prince? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we heard Head on the radio, I was like, oh, what, <laughs> what the heck? This is the dude you're talking to. That's hard. So what did he say to you to convince you to, you know, go into business with him? It was just the element of being around. Now I'm a 26, 27-year-old uh, guy. He just said he okay. want to start, he want to start some music. No, no he was not. already rolling. He was already rolling. I right? hadn't started. He was already doing it. Okay. I came in on the security team. So he channel. wanted you to, okay. Those niggas that was plotting against me, <laughs> no game bangers, mm -hmm. the ones that talk all that head and stuff, and <laughs> this loyalty code and all of that stuff, was playing on robbing, Kim Nevin him and robbing him. Mm. My dad got wow. word of it. Got word of it. And um, we, he, he knew me and Shook had a relationship because we played football together. Mm -hmm. And what I explained to you, but you know how you... When you have kids, you, you go separate ways. Right. Now I'm over here in law enforcement. He over there doing was the it, same. Was it was it was it the pirates that was trying to kidnap? It was his homeboy, niggas that was working for him. Yeah, that's that. That's, <coughs> he had the gang. Bob James and them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Bob James and them was was trying and to figure out. He on Vlad. Right. Reggie ain't snitching. <laughs> y'all yeah, killed that. He done admitted it on Vlad. Recently on Bob first, he just tried to blame it on other dudes, but you know, but. Yeah, it came people out. that was, a, it wasn't just him. It was about yeah. four or five of them. Yeah. It was a group that was working for him. Right. Yeah. Man, and, 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 and they probably just going to extort him for money. I was, I was, was just, just about to, to ask, to why would they do that? If he's paying just, them good and treating them good because he needs that protection, why would they try to come up against him? Well, he was just starting off. And unfortunately, and that's why I was telling Boss Talk earlier before we even started talking that I kind of respect dudes from the South and the East a little bit. More because on the West Coast, we're about sales. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not talking about everybody because I know some of y'all be like, I ain't like that. I'll do this mm -hmm. with my homeboy and all that. When I talk, I talk in general mm -hmm. about what I know about general. That's how I am. And um, for the most part, we uh, every man for themselves out mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. What can I get? There's a motive how, to everything somebody's doing. How can I get more? How can I forget that? Mm -hmm. I'm tired of getting five thousand dollars a month, three thousand, two thousand dollars a month. I go get this nigga and I get a hundred thousand right quick. Go do my own thing. Might lose your life, but yeah, I'll take that chance. <laughs> I take a penitentiary sentence for him anyway, right? Or or, or whatever I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So let's try to do this league. He can't. He ain't gonna go in jail no way. If we successful, mm -hmm. he's just gonna have somebody bring us a bag and then go on. Ain't nothing he can do about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.